praying that all of you all are doing great. Wishing uh, for God's best for you. Uh, I just wanted to talk for a few minutes. If I go here, I'm going to go live here. And put that there. And pow. Okay. Just say, God bless you all. Uh, of course, on Facebook Live, I've already talking to the rest of social media here. I was uh, uh, thinking before I get a good start to this day uh, about I was reading an article in the uh, Commercial Appeal, <laughs> and uh, wasn't the rosiest of articles. It, it was Commercial Appeal is the local newspaper in Memphis. Uh, wasn't the rosiest of our articles. It was talking about all the things that are happening in this pandemic. And it listed loss of jobs. It listed uh, problems here, problems there. And then it said that divorce statistics in Memphis, Tennessee, or Shelby County are at record proportions. So I guess we're spending time where we haven't spent time then you got mama, you got daddy, you got kids can't go to school, you have economic upheaval. It's just the perfect storm for some problems in a marriage. And I'm not coming to be, that is not my lane. I am not a marriage expert. I am not a relationship guru. I'm just calling Lord heal our relationships. That's it. That's as simple as it is. Lord heal our relationships. I know that the enemy is seeing this as a perfect opportunity to ruin some homes, to spread some discord, to uh, make sure he deals out fear uh, by the handful. But folks, I'm just saying, Lord, heal our relationships. Folks, there's no such thing as a perfect relationship because if the other party was perfect, they wouldn't be in a relationship with you. <laughs> so so none of us are perfect. All of us have our shortcomings. All of us have our issues. All of us have to deal with, with treading through this thing called life. I know the way relationships are marketed uh, via social media are sometimes amazing because there are people that call themselves relationship gurus. There are people who call themselves relationship experts. There are people who uh, who put their marriage and relationship on a pedestal. And then there are people that buy into what they're marketing. They will feel like, if only my relationship could be like, the. If only my relationship could be like, the. And, you know, people, we, we knock ourselves for the problems that we have in our own personal relationships because we look at our personal re relationships with a microscope. And we're seeing their relationship with a telescope. So their relationship looks great. Uh, we, as they say, you know, the other side of the fence just seems so much more appealing. But you don't know what's happening on the other side of the fence. You don't know what's happening in their home. You don't know, I even know when their Facebook pictures, everybody looks happy. Everybody's showing all 32 teeth. Their 2.5 kids look so much happier than yours. But you gotta think, part of social media is people post their highlights. They're not gonna give you their blooper reels. They're going to show uh, their kids uh, maxing the world, 3.5. They're going to show their kids graduating from school, but they're not going to show their kids staying out all night. And it goes the same way with relationships. Uh, they, that husband and wife just looks ever so happy like they don't have a problem in the world. But they have issues. We all have issues. I mean, my wife and I, uh, which I think that she... Uh, is a godsend for me. We have a sick child. Folks, sometimes when we're smiling, we're smiling to keep from crying. We're smiling 
to ignore some of the pain and, and ease some of the concerns and, and a myriad of things. So, folks, I'm just telling you, Lord, heal our relationships. Lord, heal our relationships. I don't want everybody in Tarnation to end up in divorce court because of COVID-19, because the money, our money's been challenged. Our relationships have been challenged. Our normal date nights have been canceled out. Uh, the wife may have a preoccupation with uh, being infected and men just forced through. Folks, Lord, heal our relationships. We all need healing. I mean, that was very disturbing to me on top of everything else. We got the stay-at-home orders. We got economic upheaval. We got COVID-19 deaths. And on top of that, now we see the dissolution of marriages. The divorce rate has increased. Folks, Lord, heal our relationships. I'm not a relationship guru. But I understand how devastating that should be to kids as they see mama and daddy grappling with money. I remember a season when we first got married ages ago. And uh, it's amazing how people talk about who didn't let the toilet seat down or who didn't left the top of the toothpaste or who has this or who has that. All of those things in themselves can be annoying, but add money problems to them and they magnify 50 times. Folks, I'm telling you, when money is funny, and that, that can bring so much stress into a situation. On top of the normal pressure of your jobs, I'm not even talking about those that are out of work. Keeping a job now can stress you out. Keeping a job now can keep you at a 10. Then you're worried about your kids. Are your kids safe going to school? Are your kids safe operating in daily life? Are your kids safe at their job? And you don't see why that's a perfect storm for relationship after relationship to be challenged. Uh, do you see all of a sudden you've been going on your way? You He's been going on his way and all of y'all keeping y'all pace up. But all of a sudden y'all locked in in each other and you can't move. Lord, heal our relationships. I'm not saying, I'm not putting a first thing down. I'm just saying, Lord, bless all of our marriages. Not just one, not just two, not just three. Lord, bless all of our, our marriages. Send strength where we need strength. Send hope where we need hope. Send energy where we need energy. Send finances where we need finances. Send love where we need love. Lord, bless our relationships. Folks, I'm telling you, we're in this signal moment where the enemy's having his heyday. Uh, he's having uh, uh, his great season of stealing, killing, and destroying. And part of what he wants to steal, kill, and destroy are our relationships. Folks, I'm speaking this word to you, and I'm praying that God would heal each of our relationships. And I, I mean, I'm not here to insult you. I'm not here to tell you what's going on inside your house. But statistics are big numbers. It's a challenging moment. You guys may be hunky-dory and howdy-howdy, but there's somebody 